Right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go through some boxing combinations. So some techniques now to help the hands flow, help your defence, help your offence with your hand striking. So, let's get started. Right, so the first combination we're going to do with our hands, so we're going to go into our fighting stance here. Now this is more hand techniques for kickboxing, K1, Muay Thai, MMA rather than sort of boxing striking. So my stance is going to be slightly different because normally we're incorporating leg kicks and legs and kicking into the techniques and takedowns. So, we're going to start off in our fighting stance, guard up nice and high. So from there, now the first technique we're going to do is just a jab cross. Now you want to advance forward with this, so when you do it now, you're going to step with your jab, come in with your cross, now you can roll out or cover after, or bounce back into your stance to try and get out the way if something comes forward. So I say one have jab cross, and then back. So ready, one, good. Ready, two, good. Ready, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and relax. So, next combination we're going to do now is we're going to go double jab, cross, then we're going to roll out as if something was coming towards us. So, double jab, cross, roll after it to anticipate a hook. Coming in. So, ready? Bomb my count. Ready? One. Jab, jab, cross, roll, and back. Two. Good. Ready? Three. Good. Ready? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one now. Ten. Good, and relax. Good, so the next combination we're going to work on now is we're going to go jab, cross, hook. Then we're going to roll underneath the hook, imagining a shot was coming in from this side. So we're going to go jab, cross, hook, roll and back to your guard. So ready, one, and back, two, good, ready, three, four, five, six, Good, ready, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and relax. Good, so the next combination we're going to do now is we're going to practice now some of our defensive counters. So we're going to go jab, cross, we're going to slip, we're going to come back with a cross, hook, cross. So you're going to go one, two. Imagine now jab was coming back in, you're going to go cross, hook, cross. So you're going to jab, cross, slip, one, two, three, coming back in. So ready, one, so jab, cross, slip, cross, hook, cross, and back. Ready, two. Good, ready, three. Good, ready, four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Last one now, ten. And relax. Okay, so the next combination we're going to do, we're going to go jab, cross, we're going to drop back, we're going to throw an uppercut, hook, and a cross. Now imagine now you've got jab, cross, you're going to step back as the person comes in with a cross, you're going to step back as so they overshoot it, you drop your uppercut, come back with your hook and your cross. So the idea of the pull back is for somebody who shoots a punch, and you're going to meet them with that uppercut, hook and a cross coming back through. So from there now it's going to be one, two, drop, one, two, cross. So ready, bomber count, ready, one, jab, cross, drop back, I've got hook, cross. Ready, two, good, ready, three, good, ready, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one now, ten. This time now we're going to throw a jab cross, then we're going to check hook as they overshoot their cross. So imagine now you've got a jab cross, the person's coming back with a cross. So you've got one, two, they've sort of dropped back, they're coming back in with their cross. So rather than overshooting it, you're going to step back 
turn your feet and meet them with the hook. So as they're coming in, they're overshooting, they're open for the left hook as you turn off the center line. So the idea is you want to draw the pull from them. So you want them to drop back to throw. So you might not overshoot yours, but you might make them think that you do. So from there now, you're going to go one, two, check, and come back. So ready, one, so jack cross, check, and back. Ready, two, tss, tss, tss. good. Ready, three, tss, tss, tss. good. Ready, four, tss, tss, tss. five, tss, tss, tss. six, tss, tss, tss. seven, tss, tss, tss. eight, tss, tss, tss. nine. Tss, tss, tss. Last one now, ten. Tss, and relax. Okay, so the last combination we're going to do is we're going to get hands flowing a bit. So from there now, we're going to go jab, cross, uppercut, hook, straight, hook, straight. So you're going to go one, two, uppercut, hook, same hand, cross, hook, cross. If you want to add a double jab, you can. So I'll walk you through it slowly. So it's going to be jab, cross, uppercut, hook, cross, hook, cross, double jab, and relax. So ready? One, so jab, cross, up, cut, hook, cross, hook, cross, jab, jab, and back. Ready, two, jab, cross, up, cut, hook, cross, hook, cross, jab, jab. Good, ready, three, jab, cross, up, cut, hook, cross, hook, cross, jab, jab. Good, ready, four, jab, cross, up, cut, hook, cross, hook, cross, jab, jab. Good, see I'm drifting off on the jab as well, try and add that in. Ready, five, jab, cross, up, cut, hook, cross, hook, cross, jab, jab. Ready to start speeding up now. So ready, six. Good. Ready, seven. Good. Ready, eight. Ready, nine. Good. Ready, ten. And relax. Well done everyone, so again try and use these combinations, start practicing on a bag, practicing in the air, do as a flow with the workout, practice some orthodox, practice some southpaw, just to develop sort of some movements of flow between your hands and your reactions and your counters.